Hi everybody, my name's Claire from Rainbow Acrylics. Thank you so much for watching. Um, a few weeks ago, I did this painting um, and it was a straight pour and I, lay, I le layered up 10 cups of paint and I used eight cups for this piece. I'm gonna link this video, the, piece, the video for this piece in the description. So I had two cups, layered up cups left over. So instead of just letting them go to waste or I decided to do a ribbon pour with them, which is the, this video here I'm gonna show you now. The problem I had, unfortunately, I somehow got paint in the microphone of my phone. So the whole video was just silent or just a muffled voice. I was talking, but it was really muffled. So I've undenied about whether to show you this piece or not because it's it's silent. Um, but what I've decided, I'm going to show you, um, but I've skipped lots of bits, um, just the unnecessary bits, and I've sped it up so it's, um, it's a lot quicker so you don't get bored. Um, and I'll just add some music to it. So it's a sped up um, ribbon pour using leftover paint from this piece. Um, so here's what happened.
So here's the dry painting. I'm really, really pleased with it. Um, it just goes to show, I think, what leftover paints you, you can do with leftover paints. It was such an easy, simple pour, pouring it on in ribbons and tilting it around to get um, an interesting design. Such an easy way of using up some leftover paint. Um, if I show you close up, the lines are just gorgeous. I was so happy that I didn't keep the lines straight. It wasn't, I didn't have enough paint. It wasn't going to work. Um, you've got some interesting little cells there, some little um, interesting bubbly effects. Um, but I love the fact that it's quite swimmy and floaty. Um, often with ribbon pours, certainly um, large or long ribbon pours, I've tried to keep the lines perfectly straight, which works for some. For example, where uh, sunset... Um, and the ocean ribbon pour but for this quite a small canvas and just such a contrast of colours the white versus the dark purples I actually think it works really well with this wonderful um, um, sort of distorted effect it's, it just makes it very abstract there's the gold in it is gorgeous it's it's become yeah very shimmery very iridescent um, really really pretty um, and the edges are re I'm really happy with the edges they've um, they're just solid and I really like I just love how the color the paint just pours over the edges really really nicely um, so there it is let me know what you think um, if you like it please do give me a thumbs up um, and if you haven't done so do subscribe to my channel if you hit the notification bell and then press all you'll get notifications of all my future videos as I upload them Great. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Take care. Bye.